What's going on fish nerds? Carlos here and I have to apologize. This video is several hours late coming out and I've just had one of those weeks where it's just been crazy busy and I had stuff that I was going to edit and put together for a video with you know nice b-roll and everything and I just haven't had time to do anything but I didn't want to just leave you guys with nothing so I am going to shoot a quick video here and just bring it to your raw no fancy footage no fancy editing anything like that and I hope you guys like it but I want to show you guys this tank you guys have seen this tank before but you've not seen what's in it. So about a month and a half ago, somewhere in there, Bob Steenfot of Steenfot Aquatics did a giveaway and I was one of the winners and won one of the shrimp starter packs from Flip Aquatics and I went with the crystal black shrimp. And this is the first time I've ever kept Caridina species of shrimp. I've kept Neo Caridina and you guys have seen those tanks. Those shrimp are just going nuts, breeding like crazy. So I wanted to try some Caridina, so I got the Crystal Blacks and let's check out the tank. All right guys, so this is the setup. This is the 15 gallon column tank. You guys have seen this tank before. It was just, you know, bare the last time you saw it here on this channel. But got it all set up for the shrimp now. I do want to, you know, do some more with it. This is not a a finished work I just wanted to show you guys the shrimp and uh, talk about setting this tank up but these are the crystal black shrimp from flip aquatics I love these guys I like the crystal black better than I like the crystal reds if I'm gonna be honest and the care for these shrimp is essentially the same as for Neo Caridina with the exception that they do have different needs as far as their water parameters the Neos you know they take a neutral to a lightly alkaline pH these guys prefer a slightly acidic pH, you know, in the mid to upper sixes. And uh, my pH, you know, left unaltered is around a 7.1. So I do have several catapa leaves in here as well as the driftwood to uh, release some tannins and bring the pH down. And for my substrate, I did use uh, Fluval Shrimp Stratum which should also help to bring the pH down. I don't have a drip emitter in this tank uh, like I do in my Neo tanks. Uh, if you guys have watched my other videos, you know that in my Neo tanks, I have drip emitters doing half a gallon per hour water change. So they're essentially getting 120% water change every single day. I'm not doing that in this tank simply because if I do that, then I won't be able to keep the pH down doing that heavy of water changes. So I'm just doing weekly water changes and same as with the Neos, you know, any freshwater shrimp, any of these dwarf shrimp, you don't want to do big water changes because you don't want big swings in your parameters. So what I do is you'll see that PVC pipe there, that is an overflow. But what I'll do is I'll just take the drip emitter from the turtle tank and I'll just throw it up here and I'll let it drip you know for you know 20 30 minutes once a week and so that gives them you know a, a nice little water change without much effort on my part and it's all a nice gradual process and I'm not uh, doing big water changes and having any swings or anything like that I haven't seen any buried females yet, but I've also only had them for about three weeks, and uh, I'm really liking these guys. Very sharp shrimp. I'm having a blast with them. But as far as what I'm feeding these, I am feeding them uh, the Shrimp King Complete, the Shrimp King Mineral, and the Shrimp King Protein and as well as the Bacter AE and I'll also uh, throw some spirulina powder into the tank as well. Spirulina is one of my favorite things to feed shrimp. It, uh, it, it dissolves in the water at first, turns your water green, but then it settles on everything and then they're just able to just graze on it. As far as plants in here, uh, you see the Nubius here. It's actually doing really well. Uh, both these two smaller leaves are new. It's sprouted those since being planted in this tank. It had about three or four big leaves that died off when I first planted it, which 
just about always happens with crypts. I think I may have just said Anubius a minute ago. If I did, forgive me. This is a crypt. Uh, but I'd like to put another one uh, back here in the back, two or actually maybe even two or three, and uh, run the crypts in this tank since it does seem to be doing, you know, fairly well with the light that's in here. I also I was floating some Ritala in here that I pulled out of the 55 gallon and it is not doing well it's dying off so I'm probably just gonna pull it out of there and uh, just roll with the Crips and uh, I was going to try to keep this tank snail free with the exception of this one big ram's horn that's been living in this tank forever even when it was a bear tank but you know I was in a hurry when I took this Ritala out of the 55 gallon and didn't think about it and a whole bunch of these you know, little bladder snails came in from that tank when I put the uh, Rotala in here. And so, so much for that plan, but oh well, it's no big deal. So yeah, it's a relatively simple setup, just, you know, running a substrate that's going to lower the pH if you have an alkaline pH. Uh, got the catapa leaves and the driftwood to also help with that. Running sponge filters and uh, weekly water changes and it's a pretty simple pretty simple setup and I'm hoping these guys will take off and breed as well as my neos are because I love these guys these are just beautiful shrimp all right guys so let me know what you think about these shrimp down in the comments below and again I'm sorry that this video is late and that it's not the best put together video I've ever done but I didn't want to leave you guys without a video so you know, it's just one of those things. It's a busy time of year, but hope you guys have had a great week. You guys are awesome. God bless you fish nerds. I'll see you next time.